Hello and welcome to the fifth tutorial in the Python Control Structures course from How to Code Well. My name is Peter Fisher and in this tutorial we're going to take a look at the for loop. Now in the previous tutorials we were taking a look at the while loop and the while loop takes a condition. So if that condition is true, so whilst x is less than y, if that is true, then the contents of the while loop is processed. So in this case, if x is less than y, then we go ahead and we run that block within the while loop. However, in the for loop, it's slightly different because in the for loop, you're not actually checking a condition. You're not checking if something is true. You're actually iterating over a combination of variables. So this could be a list, for instance. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a list. So x is equal to a list. And if you don't know what a list is in Python, then do check out my uh, Python for Beginners course because I've done a whole segment on lists in that. So x is equal to, and we're going to have a list where we've got a, and then we've got b, like so, and then finally we've got c. So we have three items within this list. Now let's go and create a loop that iterates over this list. And as it iterates over each item within this list, we're going to print that out. So we're going to have for, because that is the keyword that we're going to use to create the loop. And the for loop takes a minimum of two arguments. So we're going to do for and then for y in x. Okay, so what does y mean? Well, y is each of the items within x. And each time we iterate over x, y will change to the next value within this list. So that's going to be y for the first time, y for the second time, and y for the third time. So let's go ahead and simply print this out. So let's do print, and then within the parentheses, let's do y is, and then we're, then we're going to concat that to just y, like so. Okay, so what we've done here is we've created ourselves a simple list. We've equated that to x, so we've assigned x a list, and then we're iterating over this list, printing out what y is. We're assigning y each time we iterate over x. So let's go ahead and run this. I need to just do a cd into the four tutorials. And then let's just do python and then tutorial one. Let's pre press that. So we have y is a, y is b, and then finally y is c. So we have iterated over x, assigning y each time we do so. So y is a on the first time, b on the second time, and c on the third time. Now, there's a whole lot more we can do with the for loop, and I'm going to be progressing this in the next tutorial. So do subscribe to pick that up. But thanks ever so much for watching. Happy coding, everyone. I'll see you again soon. Cheers. Bye.